Hello everyone, I am Anbir Kaur, a student of class 10 from Government Senior Secondary Self Smart School, Todapur. Today I am going to do an activity and its name is Electrolysis of Water. So let's see. For doing this activity, we will require a beaker, two test tubes, two pencils or graphite rods, two wires, battery, switch, salt and water. Now let's start the activity. For doing this activity, I have taken a beaker and drilled two holes in it at the bottom surface. And then I attached two pencils in it, such that both ends of the pencils are shocked. Then I taken two wires and attached with the pencils and battery. And I also attached a switch here. Then I added some salty water in the beaker and taken two salty water filled test tubes and inserted them on the pencil. As you can see here that these test tubes are water filled. Now everything is ready. We just have to do is to turn on the switch. Now let's see what will happen. As you can see here that in both the test tubes, bubbles are forming. Means the electricity is passing from water and is breaking down into hydrogen and oxygen gas. But you can see here that in this test tube, there are more bubbles as compared to this one. This is due to formula of water. Formula of water is H2O. In it, the ratio of hydrogen is double the ratio of oxygen. That is why in this test tube, there are more bubbles as compared to this one. Means here is hydrogen gas and here is oxygen. And we can also see that that test tube in which the hydrogen gas is forming is attached to the negative terminal of the battery means at the cathode ray tube and in this test tube in which the oxygen gas is forming is attached to the positive terminal of the battery that is anode ray tube thus we can also say that hydrogen gas always forms at the cathode ray tube and oxygen gas always forms at the anode ray tube so this is all about my activity. I hope that you like it. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.